What's up, Video City? It's your girl, Brie, reporting live from Long Island, New York, back with a little show on Roku TV. Tonight, we have so much in store for you guys. But first, let's get right into our Zoom interview with my girl, Tasha, and So Husky from Sicklerville, New Jersey. Video City, take it away. I can do pretty much anything. I'm a very versatile artist. I can sing, I can do the whole auto-tune stuff. I have songs like that. Like, I can, I can go anywhere anyone would want me to go. So what is your focus for, I guess, your next project that's coming? If you have a project coming out, do you have a project coming out this year? And if so, what's the direction you're looking to go in? Um, I'll definitely be thinking about dropping a project this year. Mm -hmm. But honestly, this is like the reboot for me. Like, I'm restarting everything fresh, like taking everything from what I learned over time and just, you know what I'm saying, just go hard with what I have now and the knowledge that I have now and um, just do my thing. Cause honestly, at the end of the day for me, it's just visuals and marketing and like, you know, promo like that. Cause like you said, I got it. Like I, I always knew I had it. Everybody always been telling me that years and years and time and time throughout, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but just singles and putting out visuals uh, is the main focus right now for me. Uh, so yeah, but I'm definitely excited to, you know what I'm saying, drop this new music and drop all these visuals because it's a lot coming for sure. And um, I have a new song actually dropping uh, Friday. I'm not sure when this is gonna air, but uh, uh, Friday, April 9th, it's called Up and Away. Really great song. Um, put a little kind of snippet to that on my Instagram page as well, if anybody wanna check that out. But a really dope song and it's a smoke song as well too. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, weed is legal, marijuana is, is legal in Jersey now. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can go crazy. So I feel like it's a vibe for, like I was saying, everything is a vibe for me, you know what I mean? Like, I just go, I go with whatever, you know what I mean? Just, you know what I'm saying? Emotions and everything. As you can tell, I'm probably really excited to be on here, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, wait a second. So you didn't submit one call to the show? I no, but I no no no. I submitted um I submitted that's it the song that you heard yeah correct. But I also heard one call. We we have to play one call. That was that's really fire. Like I mean you heard that? too, but one call. I was like yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just dropped it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you got yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's the one we should play today. You think so? All right, let's. That's that's what's up. Don't mean there's some there's some new content. So. I'm lit for that, feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for it, feel me? Are there any last minute shout outs you want to do before we introduce your video? Um, I just want to shout out my brother, Sleepy Zim. He's, you know what I'm saying, over here with me. We got my cousin, actually, he's in the back. Uh, Yo. Hitter, he's been a, he's, he's on the song one cause. So, you know what I'm saying? Kind of put that together, you know? Um, but, you know, just shout out to um, everybody that's been rocking with me from the start. Um, RP my mom, RP my dad. I lost them, you know what I'm saying, at different times, but you know what I'm saying? We here, uh, my sister, my niece, my nephew, um, you know what I'm saying? Just everybody that supports me, I support y'all. I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Every, everything like that. Everybody knows, they know. <laughs> and would you like to introduce your video? Or, this is your world premiere, so. Yeah, all right. Uh, this the world pre uh, premiere, uh, Hitter and uh, So Husky. It's called One Call. Um, I'm not saying let's go. Slick. <laughs> Spin blocks, watch you do with ease, put stuck, I don't need no keys 38 with a beam, leave a nigga in the stream Now it's mama upset, couple hollows out the tech I'ma do it for the set, fuck this bitch, I got a wet Click pull 30, I shoot the best I got the ops, running and stumbling Big Glock, got a drum on it, we make a litty when we in the spot One call, shit getting hot Since 13, I've been on that block By 18, I was running that block I was right there when bro got shot It's a reason I put perks a lot This left me in the hit the spot Get to the... Get to the guap, kicking their doors, I ain't got a knock. Holding their chest, I ain't even got a dick in the I ain't stop. Came from the bottom, went straight to the top. Shotgun pumping, Ricky, running, bet when they see me, they all call the cops. Uh. Woo woo. 
Spin this block, hit his top, make him drop. They going shoot who? I don't know, but these niggas is not what they gon' do. Nothing, they turn to nothing to something. Get this bitch jumping, hold up, that's under discussion. These niggas talk like they rushing. Shorty, she see me, she blushing. Really, I know that she crushing. Really, like, what is you wanting? If you ain't fucking, I'm punting. If you ain't game, you ain't coming. Shorty, the track shows me running, running, running. Boris, running. Video City. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Up next here is Tasha again with an interview with Lish two times. Video City, take it away. Hey everybody, it's Tasha from Video City TV and I'm here with Lish from New York. How are you? Doing good. What's up? My name is Lish two times. I like to like time. <laughs> How did you come up with the name Lish? Well, so my name is, my full name is Elisha, but people always want to call me Elisha. So I'd be like, just call me Lish. So that way there's no reason why you would get leash out of Lish. It's right. L-I, not a L-E. Mm -hmm. So I just like Lish, you know, like and delicious. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. How has growing up in New York um, inspired your artistry? Actually, I feel like I'm really nomadic. So I, my stomping ground is New York, like pre-K, kindergarten, first grade. But I also went to high school in like Maryland, the DMV area. And um, I feel like both are influential in my like musical journey because yeah. I feel like my like rough around the edges is very New York. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like I'm from the DMV. So I had time to reflect about like being so grateful that when I was in high school, really developing mm -hmm. that I was in the suburbs. I actually have a song on my EP that goes, you know, you know, praise the Lord, because I know these suburbs saved me. I wasn't exposed to some of the things that I know some of my peers were in those NYC Harlem streets. <laughs> right, it could be a little rough out there. Okay. <laughs> so who would you say some of your musical inspirations are? Mm, that's so hard, but Missy Elliott is always the very first name that comes to mind. I love Missy. Like, her energy, like, matches mine. Like, I'm very high energy. Missy's high energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> always she, be, she be dancing and stuff. I, like, so Missy Elliott is always the first name that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. But recently, people have been referring me to, like, um... Rico Nasty? We were literally just saying oh. that. I was like, she. well, uh, our camera woman had brought it up. She's like, she reminds me of Rico Nasty. So I said, I could see that. I learned who Rico Nasty was mm -hmm. from someone saying, that's who you remind me of. And then I started looking her up, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, she's kind of lit. She's like a rock star rapper mm -hmm. person, and I, I, I fell in love. I was like, I could see the analogy, but I'm still very different, y'all. <laughs> right, definitely. <laughs> So how did you develop your sound? You do, as you mentioned, it was, well, it is slightly aggressive, but still fun at the same time. Mm -hmm. So what has the process been like for you as an artist as far as development? It's just me. It's my personality. So one of the things that, like, I am fun. I am high energy. But I am also very aggressive. Like, don't play with me. So and when I say don't play with me, like, I don't tolerate disrespect in any form or fashion. And I think that came with maturity and just learning to be comfortable with your skin and not feeling like you have to conform to whatever is popular or trendy. Mm -hmm. So I had to, like, get this... Um, I had to get secure with who Lish is and who I want to be. Mm -hmm. So I started saying to myself, like, okay, when you think of yourself and when people look at you, what is it you want them to see? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, I want to be this powerful, I don't like to use the word strong, because mm -hmm. it's not about being a strong black woman, but right. I want to be this powerful force that is still very approachable mm -hmm. and fun. Right. All right, Video City, I hope you guys enjoy that. We're going to send it all the way to Canada now. Here is Reezy FN and my girl Tasha with another Zoom interview. Video City, take it away. So can you tell us a little bit about the concept of this last project you just put out? Like, was there an overall theme? What was the name of it and all of that? Um, I, 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 named, I named my album, well, my project, um, Reezy FN. Because um, Reezy FN, as you know, is more of like an alter ego, another part of me, um, which was was which was birthed in the street. So when you when you listen to those concepts, um, you'll start to understand that that the project is Reezy FN out to the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, yeah. So what does success look like for you? Like, uh, what what needs to happen for you to feel like? made it in the music industry and that you you know that none of this has gone to waste when you're able to bless people when you're able to bless people and and um uh 
to be honest, success for me at this point is people booking uh, uh, shows across the globe. Um, to me, that's success. Touching people like yourself that 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 hear my music and like it. Um, um, you know, so if 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 my music reaches one person a day, I'm happy. I, I think I've reached my goal. So so you know, within that, every day I think I'm learning something new as well, right? So I think those are goals within itself to learn more. You know, knowledge. Um, um, yeah, so you can execute. And lastly, what advice would you give to someone that could possibly be from an area that no one has really popped out of, I guess, um, on a mainstream level that wants to pursue something? Like, what advice would you give them? Believe in yourself, confidence, and 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 know that at the same time, although there's confidence and your craft and your artist know that um you have to put about as equal amount of money as you do sweat equity to to make others see it and uh, and, and when people see you're willing to invest in, in your craft and take it to the level and i mean to the next level excuse me then you will start to see the growth um, um i don't i don't ever when people ask me because people ask me all the time um what their music sounds like uh uh how do i rate it i'm like who who am i to rate your music what what i tell you is keep believing and pushing it because there's a lot of music out there that i don't like that's making millions so who am i to tell you your music is good all i can tell you is be confident and believe and and put his equal and put his equal amount of money in your craft and let it speak for itself. Like Eminem said a long time ago, if they hate, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? The people that love me will stay. And and, and, and that's what it's about. Are there any last minute shout outs you would like to do before we introduce your video? Um, yeah, um, I want to shout out Casper Marcus. I just signed him to From Nothing Entertainment. Did you see the logo? Um, you know, I want to say a big shout out to him. He works hard, you know what I'm saying? Like-minded individuals, two brothers on the same journey, rolling, featuring Casper Marcus, you know what I'm saying? To the world. Hello? Hello? Reezy. Yeah, me. Are you coming here tonight? Yeah, I'm trying to see you tonight. Say word. Yo, tell him to bring Casper. Bring Casper. Yo, tell him. yo, bring Casper. Oh, he's going. Okay. All right, one. Is he bringing him? He's bringing him. He's bringing him. He's bringing him. Okay, later. You're watching a brown guy made it visual. Girl, are you rolling? Baby, you rolling? See you fucking with a real one, girl. Are you rolling? I just wanna know, girl. Are you rolling? Baby, you rolling? Are you ready to go, girl? Are you rolling? Baby, you rolling? See you fucking with a real one, girl. Are you rolling? I just wanna know, girl. Are you rolling? Baby, you rolling? I just wanted to know, yeah. Girl, I really wanna know. Are you really ten toes? Are you gonna hold me down? Even when I'm on road, even when I'm on tour. Are you gonna stay close? Are you gonna answer my calls? Baby girl, when I call, I just wanna know it's real. Cause it's real how I feel. I ain't got time to play games. I don't fuck with none of these lames. I don't fuck with regular bitches. I don't fuck with none of these snitches. I only want the money, nigga. 
That's my only mission To bring the dough home Gotta put food on the table So my family good And I ain't gotta worry now It's just how I roll Baby girl, now you know You can let your hair down We on cruise control I admit I'm the shit Got these haters really pissed Oh my God, girl, you lit You the best You my type, super thick Love the way you move your hips Love the way you bite your lip Girl, are you rolling? Baby, are you rolling? See you fucking with a real one Girl, are you rolling? I just wanna know, girl Are you rolling? Baby, are you rolling? Are you ready to go? Girl, are you rolling? Baby, you rolling? See you fucking with a real one, girl. Are you rolling? I just wanna know, girl. Are you rolling? Baby, you rolling? I just wanted to know. Yeah. Let me roll one, no emotion, girl. I've been focused on my karma, semicolon. Girl, I saw you popping mollies, now you rolling. We got chatted to blow. Have you ever been broke? No emotion. No emotions I don't pay attention to none of that bullshit Fully loaded, fully loaded But this relationship will end in an explosion That girl is poison, that girl's annoying Yo, what's the point of revenge? What's the point of revenge? Unless you enjoy it Joy, 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 it's your boy I'm braver than six feet and Roy My papers are filled with the noise It's loud and I don't have a choice at all Do not raise your voice when you call Bugattis, I don't have a car, so driving the boat These bitches is trying too hard, these niggas know I am the GOAT We buying the bar, one shot, two shot, three Four shot, five shot, six, seven shot, eight I take straight shots to the face, bitch, I ain't never need no mix Get off my... Video City. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was so dope. Up next, we're going to send it right back to Tasha with another Zoom interview. Here is Brother Ash from Will and Burrow, New Jersey. Video City, take it away. So how is the music scene in Willingboro? I know South Jersey is huge on um, hip-hop, but how's it's, the music out for you? It's amazing. And like you went to uh, Rowan, and that's like, like very like farm type country, that type <laughs> But like where I'm from in uh, in Jersey, Willingboro, like Burlington County, it's a lot of like uh, black culture, black people, especially being from Willingboro, it's a black community. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Like the hip hop scene out here is crazy. Like I love it. It's so many, you know, and it's just like even people I just went to school with that I just have networking opportunities been simply because we grew up in the same neighborhood. It's so much talent and so many different sounds and, um, you know, collaborations and even in building my team, that made it so much easier for me because, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm building my team with people who I grew up with. So I love the scene out here. Um, you know what I'm saying? We, we network, we always show love to people. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just try and keep this community of black entrepreneurs and musicians going. Um, and it, it's great out here for real. So how have you gone about building your team? Because sometimes it can be hard to work with friends and mm -hmm. family. So what has it been like to put your team together? Everything is communication for me. And uh, I can be honest and transparent. I don't always have the best communication skills. So that's, you know, another thing I had to learn uh, teaching myself. So like as far as where the team is at now, I feel like the team is moving, um, moving forward in a great direction. I've had the LLC for my label for a little bit over a year now so it took about a year for me to really get the you know the the, the ball moving and to get everybody you know dialed into the same thing um i would say the best thing is to do is just to get people who are like-minded like don't try to get the hottest rapper who you think could help blow up your team get somebody who you know is going to work with you work just as hard as you be just as hungry because it's much more easy to work with people like that you know what i'm saying because you can always get more talented you know what i'm saying you can always work towards something together. But. So what can we expect from you in 2021? A mixtape, an album, more videos? Um, I'm, I'm dropping everything. I'm dropping everything. I'm actually working on a project right now. I'm doing a uh, private listening session for it later this evening if you want to tune in. Um, and this EP is by far my best work. 
by far my best work. Um, I really get to like dive into who I am as an artist, try some new sounds that maybe my fans haven't really heard from me, but I think it's my best music. Um, a lot of visuals. Um, I'm actually like not really a huge camera person, like music videos and all that is not my favorite thing to do, but like I know it's necessary. So I have a lot of visuals coming. Uh, the team is dropping a lot of stuff this summer too. So it's, I feel like it's, this, this summer is just gonna be a wave of everything I've been working on this past year. And it's, I really plan to take over the Jersey scene this summer for real. Uh, I know that's a bold statement, but like- That I, is real bold. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we ready to do it. Everything is in place. You know what I'm saying? Like my team has been working hard. I've been working hard. And like I said, this next project, um, definitely, um, you know, if it gets into the right hands, uh, this marketing plan I got, I'm pretty, you know, pretty proud and sure that we're gonna make things work with that. So I'm excited for it. I'm definitely excited. So we can expect like a grand rollout. Uh, you know, I want to see fireworks and everything. You're gonna see fireworks, explosion. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hear them too. You're gonna hear them too. So definitely, definitely stay tuned. You know, I'm not a cocky dude, but like, you know what I'm saying? We just been working really hard. And uh, I think it's, I think it's time for us to at least put that work out there. How everybody takes it is completely up to the, you know, we don't know that, but we are ready. You know what I'm saying? We've been putting that work in, so I'm ready. <laughs> Confidence is key, especially in this business. Um, so I know you mentioned your LLC and having your own label. Do you plan to sign other artists maybe soon or are you waiting until you reach a certain level of success? So like, you know, you gotta have, in this industry, you need leverage. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna sign somebody to a contract uh, these days, artists, um, they like things like signing bonuses and all type of different incentives. So obviously I'm not in that point right now where I could just, you know, sign people um, like a Dreamville or, you know what I'm saying, something like that. But that is the goal. Um, being a homegrown, uh, you know, business, as soon as the, the better I do, the more success I have as an artist, the more opportunities um, that I can make for my business. So the goal is to get like that. But right now, like I said, I'm more so focusing on getting my name on that level where I can start, you know, making more and more money from my streams and my visuals and just every other business venture, shows, concerts. Uh, once we get that leverage and, and you know what I'm saying, once the name is out there, then that's the next phase, you know, signing people and making this thing legit. Because the artists I have now are more so business partners, you know what I'm saying? These aren't people who I'm saying, when y'all drop music, I need percentages, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's not like that. We're just a collective of people um, who are all, you know, running towards the same thing, so. So I know you said that you come from a family of musicians and it's a difference between being a musician and knowing the business. So how, how would you say you necessarily learned about the business? Would you say it was from family or would you say your team has helped you or has it been a learning experience along the way? Um, it's not a lot of entrepreneurs in my family. Uh, there are, but like I'm not really close to them. My mother and my father were both, um, you know, people who worked. My mother still works, my father's retired. So like, I had to do my research and being the day and age we live in, that's not a hard thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I, we have access, like I can look at 50 cent interviews and, and read books from, uh, you know, different black entrepreneurs that have done what I'm trying to do and, and get a, a different insight on what's going on because the type of world we live in, that knowledge is out there. So for me, like I said, I wasn't passed down. Like I say, every day is a new day for me. I'm still learning how to be a better entrepreneur and a businessman. So um, the music comes natural. I can hop in the studio and you know make a beat, write a song. That's what I do, that's what I'm good at. But learning music, that takes me actually um, you know, beseeching certain knowledge, certain things like taxes and, and you know how to get people to get contracts and stuff like that, different, you know, terms and stuff you don't really understand as a regular musician, so. I'm glad you you understand that the business side is just as important as the creative side. I think that's where yeah. a lot of artists get messed up and they end up in these contracts and five years later, they're crying online to get out of these contracts, so. It sucks, it yeah. sucks. And I don't want that for me. I don't want that for anybody who I'm affiliated with. So I do my best to, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I do my best to, uh, you know, just absorb as much knowledge as I can. And there are, you know, different black entrepreneurs in my community um, that I have had the pleasure of being mentored by um, even other peers, you know, people that I went to school with that are a little bit further with their businesses. You know what I'm saying? So I learned from them as well. Are there any last minute shout outs you'd like to do before we introduce your video? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I want to shout out to my mom. Say now, but not real talk. Uh, <laughs> I just want to shout out um, just, you know, all my fans, supporters. I want to shout y'all out for reaching out 
um, and giving me this opportunity. Definitely the team, Maple Wick Records, we're doing huge things. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. So just shout out to everybody supporting me. I love y'all and I can't wait to see where this thing goes. And this is your worldwide premiere of your video. So would you like to introduce it? Yes, this is my Black Bodies remix video. This song means a lot to me. It was a poem I originally wrote uh, after the uh, fatal shooting of Philando Castile. I released it last year um, and the words still still hit home. And that's the tragedy of it all. So make sure y'all support the Black Lives Matter movement for everybody watching. Um, and please enjoy this video. Shit in there. Not even no rep? Nah, bro, ain't yeah, no papers, no pronto, nothing. No leaves? Nah. Not a goddamn thing. Nah, fuck Dirty. it. Let's just pull up on Quan, bro. He probably got some shit. I bet. Uh, <laughs> you already know he out there it's doing crazy. all, causing all kinds of havoc on some nuts shit. On some bullshit. OD. Uh, fuck. You bugging. Ain't this a bitch, my nigga. Oh, shit. in the streets, Lord not me, keep me by your side, black body swinging in the streets, Lord not me, keep me by your side, black body swinging in the streets, Lord not me, keep me by your side, black body swinging in the streets, Lord not me, keep me by your side. I'ma paint this picture with the best paint, because the breath of life it might just be the best thing, I paint my life up on this canvas if you let me, I got a feeling that you probably wouldn't let me, it'd be a graphic work of all I work to spark the mind. That lurk the dark, I sought to find a better place that's in my heart. When that's not afraid of the dark, but fuck it, I'm a black man, I was raised in the dark. Uh, yeah, you see, it's dark as before dawn, staring down the barrel of a cop gun, getting pretty dark. Then it lit up with the fire that was hotter than hell. Shots rumble from my dome, and it was loud as a bell. Can't even tell, scream to the Lord, I can't even yell. Jesus walked me across these waters, cause I can't even sell. White man to go to jail and shit, I can't even tell. Right, I checked the Uncle Sam, and then they opened the cell. Brothers can't even bell, they wouldn't keep us in cages. Like we walk on our hands and play with our tails You know we prevail hey. Black body swinging in the streets Lord not me Keep me by your side Black body swinging in the streets Lord not me Keep me by your side Black body swinging in the streets Lord not me Keep me by your side Black body swinging in the streets Lord not me Keep me by your side Swingin' in the swingin' in the ay, ay, ay. Yeah, and what you gon' do when they pull up on your block? Ay, I may have a tool ay, if they pull up on my block ay, Like, I may aim at you when you pull up on my block And if I gotta run with it if I gotta Then I'ma really book it like I'm jerking, keep it pushing Baller switching, man, I'm just having fun with it Don't get down with ay, it, cause this ain't nothing to sleep on no. Black people rising when you thought we was done with it Black lives matter, yeah, we all in your hood with it No more lacking, brothers, no more bullshitting Feel like man samosa, cause the boss come with gold dinner Told you we not kidding, what you thought we was joking Call me a boo Bakari, I may go to the ocean With a fleet of my soldiers, bitch, I'm a fucking king Would you believe if I told you We was all under the pressure, now we leaning it over From the pressure like a diamond, God is ready to fold you Oh Alright, Video City, thank you so much for tuning in with me, your girl Bree. Make sure you guys check back next week. We're going to have so much new content for you guys. You guys know where to find me and follow me. And remember, we're number one because the street says so. Video City, take it away.